to screw them with the wrong people. Dude, we're crossed this time, not last time. <laughs> yes, this is this is crossed. Yeah, I actually. <laughs> Well, the video description for last week's episode was whatever the hell it was, consumed, or whatever the heck the name of the episode is, and this week's episode is Crossed, which is the actual name, and I'm 100% certain of that. All right. Will okay. Be. There's, a, there's actually a lot a lot of development went on. Yeah. Not lots too, of lots of stuff. Lots yeah, of... Yeah. Lots compa- of fucking shit, especially compared to last week's, which was yucky. I don't know. We um, were saying, they were like, oh, not much stuff happened, but in reality, like, it felt like that, because a lot, I don't know. I mean, not a lot of action, ha- like, hardcore action happened, but a lot of setting up happened. Like, now all the places, everything's in place for there to be, the a- for there to be action next finale episode. So, is that. Yeah, um... I guess. So, there were a <laughs> couple of plot developments. One is with, uh, Sasha and the fact that she's still getting over the death of Bob. And that's, yeah, that and seems to be... not getting over the death of Bob, and it's... And Tyrese is trying to help. Like, look, I went through this when, you know, somebody I liked was, you know, <laughs> completely destroyed and burned, and I didn't even get to say goodbye to them. So, <clears throat> I guess he's trying to help yeah, his sister. And, <sighs> and, um, what else? Oh, the whole Abraham thing, how he's just like... Oh my like, god, Abraham's losing his fucking mind. First of all, I don't know what they're thinking, giving that crazy guy a fucking machete. He's like, you gotta have something, take this machete. So what does he do? He goes in the fucking back room, locks himself in the back room, digs up the floorboards, and runs out of the fucking church. He runs out of the church. Well, I don't know what what he's doing. I mean, he's he's obviously a wimp. I don't know what the hell he's trying to do, because all he did was just make this little small crawl space under the church. I don't... I don't get it. I mean, there are scenes in the previews we saw. There are scenes he's in next week's episode. But, like, I I don't... He doesn't die. I mean, he could die. I, I have no fucking yeah. idea. He might... He maybe. almost died, but he, like, threw the fucking zombie on the ground. Oh, yeah, that was weird. Like, di- like instead of killing it, he just dismembers it. So, yeah. like, well, I guess that's the next best thing, I yeah. suppose. Well, but... Yeah, because he was about to crush it with a rock, and then he saw the freaking cross, and he's like, oh, no, Jesus, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's just another member of his church that he turned away, and he's still fucked up about that. I don't know. I think what happens, I don't know, in the comics, I think he just, he goes, I don't even know. I think he goes away for a period of time, and you like, never see, I have no fucking idea. Honestly, like, his character, I don't even, I don't even care about him. Like, honestly, he's just a nuisance and dead weight, because he doesn't do anything, and he's annoying. Well, yeah, you kind of know what to expect with him. Like, you know, you know, he's told his whole story at this rate, he's offered this, his place of refuge, and, like, I don't know what his whole... Yeah, well, now he's fucking running out, banding in it. It's like, I don't know, I guess he's... He can't take the fact that they came in there and killed people, and whatever, all that stuff will happen, he can't look at it the same, but... Yeah. So, um, yes, yeah, going to Atlanta to get to get Beth and Carol. Um, hmm. Yeah, that turned interesting. <laughs> well, I don't know. Oh, there was that. There was the cool showdown where like they held up the two cops, and then the guy who dropped them off. So that was the thing. Like they came there by car, and the two cops took Noah. Yeah. And then the guy in the car, like you know, tried to spook him, and they shot his tire. He crashed into either a. a well, he str- like he tried to. Ru- he ran over one of those like glob zombies and it clogged up the tire and he couldn't drive it yeah and then he had a fight with uh daryl oh which... my god that's the closest i think that daryl's ever come to dying except for when he was like abandoned by merle in the woods or when he was fighting at the prison and that zombie almost killed like he remember he was getting shot from yeah. the front and then there was a zombie from the back and he stuck its head and used it as a bullet sponge that was the only he, i mean, I mean it... he, yeah but that was that was a close call like he was his head was right against another guy and like the way that he, he like he almost he stuck his hand in the zombie's mouth like he almost got bit there and then he like he ripped that was nasty he ripped the fucking zombie's head off through the eyeballs and then clobbered the cop the cop on the head with it it's like yeah like I don't understand I mean my biggest thing was, was crazy my big complaint in this and it's I think it's funny because it's going back to the complaints that Shane had back in season two Rick's idea original idea was just he had the there, whole thing yeah, yeah he said they had the whole layout of that hospital right. because of the kid. And so they said, okay, yeah, no you take these people, you was. take these people. You Like, they had this whole thing fucking worked out. And, of yeah. course, they have to go, old oh, take the hostage. Right. The thing is, I like the fact that Rick has evolved into Shane because it's basically saying, like, this is how you have to yeah. act in this world. It's kind of interesting that because Tyrese proposed that they take the hostage. And it's kind of interesting that Daryl 
backed them up. He's like, no, we should do the hostage because otherwise they would have went with Rick's plan. But yeah, it's funny. It was, I like this moment when Rick looks in Tyrese's eyes and like, are you serious? Like, we, like we we can't take chances with this. Yeah. We need to fucking. I mean, because yeah, the hostage like that's the humane way to go because you know you're not killing people, but it's the also as we've seen in this episode is the you know loose ends aren't good and you know that but it's it's evident like at the end of the episode the guy fucking lies oh about I, I lies yeah, about well, that, that tasha was stupid because again that was just going back to her old grieving thing and she's trying to get over bob and the guy like oh his name is bob the guy you know, the guy the guy is obviously he picked up on that and he's playing on that and he's like oh, who the hell did he hear from that bob was a guy that, I, I have no idea or maybe his real name was actually bob and was just a coincidence i don't know but no but this whole that whole story with like how his how his best friend was out you know it, it would have been him who died out there but don made him stay and his best friend went out and then his best friend got bombed and now he's the glob zombie on the road so Tasha bought into that. Sm he smashed her face on the wall and got away. So, <laughs> that's yeah, great. I don't really understand why. Like, cause that's the thing. Again, Rick's gonna be pissed. Like, you know, if you had just gone with my plan, this wouldn't yeah. be happening. So it seems like by next episode, he's gonna try to. Oh, he's going to um, arrange some type of um, meeting with them, and. Um, I don't know what's going on out there. But they, they're going to try to arrange some type of meeting yeah. and actually try to resolve this. Well, that's what the episode um, description says. Like, oh, members of the group meet with each other for and the I'm, first I'm time. I'm highly doubtful that they're going to be peaceful terms. With it the says meeting. the cops that they don't want a peaceful no, yeah, altercation. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a battle. Yeah, it's going to be, be a battle, battle royale to the fucking... But the thing is, how are they going to leave... I mean... At the end of the episode, we see Abraham's coming back because he actually took the water, and I think he's oh kind of God, collecting finally. himself. Oh my God! Like he was being a little bitch the whole time. <laughs> Fucking Maggie finally got to him. Do we have any like, confirmation if Eugene's a zombie? Because we didn't see that. I'm guessing he's <laughs> not, but like that was kind of weird though because it, like I mean Maggie was nice and covered him up, and so he wasn't getting like fried by the sun. But then no one was really paying attention to him, and then all of a sudden like you hear like breathing, like it almost sounded. They they definitely wanted you to like think that it was a zombie because it was like it was kind of like zombie breathing but we don't she went over there to look on him but like and then it just zooms into abraham drinking like picking up the bottle of water but i i think you would have heard like maggie screaming if he turned into a zombie i don't know but like yeah i on i think it's him waking up like yeah. after he got knocked well, out I'm, he's I'm waking hoping, so. it's kind of funny they both woke up at the same time like abraham snapped out i think i mean he took the water and he snapped out of it and then yeah. eugene kind of so they're everyone's backs I don't... I mean, what else do they have to do except go back to the church? I, in my opinion, they won't show them much next episode. I mean, they were in the previews, but I think it'll just show them coming back to yeah. the church, and maybe they'll find whatever stupid shit Father Gabriel's doing. <laughs> they'll be like, what the hell is this yeah. guy doing? It was kind of weird, though, like, the little the little scene where the three of them, where Glenn and the other two went out to the, to the stream to get water, and, like, they found those guys that were crushed by the telephone pole, and... I don't know, they were trying they were filtering water and they got fish, but like other than that, like it didn't really seem like very purposeful. Yeah, they were just kinda getting to know each other. <laughs> it's found like a yo yo, so she's like, Oh I got a yo yo. <laughs> You'll never know what I got. I got yeah, it's just kinda them how do how are they dealing with the fact that the, yeah. the, that now Eugene's not the savior that they thought he was. It's kinda stupid because the thing with Sasha when she gets knocked out at the end, I kinda saw that coming from a mile. I was like, Really? Like honestly, yeah, as like, soon as, as soon Turn as, the fuck around yeah, and look what's as going soon as on she around. She walked you. over like, to him, I knew he was gonna start playing her, but like he played her like a fucking film. He's still handcuffed, but like I don't know what's I don't know what's gonna happen. Is that gonna play into some bullshit the that's gonna happen now like, or what? Like I got he was like he was trying to like he was acting as the nicest one, like the guy who was being like the most honest, but like in the end, like he was planning on escaping probably the whole time. So I don't know how this next episode is gonna go down, really. I mean, cause there was a lot of like the thing is, at least it wasn't like last week's episode where we knew it was gonna go down and it was just kind of like slow build up for nothing at the very end. And then at least with this episode, we had some action, we had some development of people getting over certain stuff, we had some really weird, you know, kind of you know character development with Father Gabriel yeah, and then Abraham, we'll, which is kind of sitting there. And, and we'll have to see what actually happens with Carol because. The surprising thing was because they sneak peeked that that dispute with with Don, um, Beth, and the other cop because like Beth got involved, and Don was like, "Oh, you just killed that girl, that you know, that woman because I have to be tough and support this cop because the cop's a douchebag, but I have to support him otherwise I'll lose power." But she gave Beth the key to the medicine locker, and then 
she asked the doctor, that douchebag doctor, for what what to get. So hopefully he told her the right thing. That's funny how like Dawn's almost trusting Beth more. Like I don't know. I feel like she's like the go. Like I don't know what's going on with the with the the. Oh, it's almost like the politics of this fucking hospital because some people don't like Dawn's leadership. Uh, some people think she's got to go. It's almost like it, there's like these different groups within it. Like nobody's on the same side. Yeah. At least with Terminus, everyone was on the same side of killing people and eating them. With this situation, it feels like nobody can come to terms with how they run this place. Like the doctor fears his life, so he killed a random patient. Like nothing. This place is like not stable in the least. Yeah. So how is that going to come into play with everybody? You know, kind of fighting it out in this next episode. And um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see, I suppose. So, rating for this episode, what would it be? I'll, I'll give it, I don't know, like an 8.5. Yeah, I was actually, yeah, I was thinking about, it I was, was thinking that. I mean, definitely better than last week's. Last week's was the worst so far, and I don't know, it was a good episode. It was pretty good. I hate the predict. I think I hated it that it was so predictable that she gets knocked out at the end. Yeah. I was like, oh, don't fucking, like, like, all right, like, go consistent with Rick's mentality. Like, you slaughtered all of the Terminus people. Like, you, you were just, you were so gun ho about that, and you're like, yes, this is the mentality we have to have in this world. And now all of a sudden it's like, oh well, you know, we're trying to deal, and it's like. What? That never works. Like, when has that ever worked? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, after this, Rick is probably going to snap. Because, like, Tyrese is... Until now, Tyrese has been really the only one who's kind of been, um, like, like against violence and stuff. But now it seems like, and in this episode, like, his ideology kind of spread to Daryl and Tasha. But after this, I don't know. I think they're going to have to go back to yeah. killing people. I don't know. I feel like people say that when there's a character that gets too nice for the world, they, they end up, you know, getting killed off. Like, Herschel yeah. and Dale. Like, those kind of characters. Yeah. So, now, now before we end this episode, I will do... Who do you think... Because everyone keeps having these who wild... Who do you think's going to die? Who do you think's going to die? Because next week is going to be the last one, one of these we do until spring, if you didn't know, because it is the mid-season finale next week. So, next week's review will be the last one for a while. But I do want to do a special segment here where we briefly say who we think is going to die. Because there's so many like, – I see so many people like like on the internet saying, like, oh, it's going to be this person. The two biggest contenders are, you know, Carol and Beth are the two biggest contenders. I, I don't know why – see, the thing is for Carol, I that's my prediction as to who I think is going to die. Either Carol or maybe – Tyrese, if that makes sense, because yeah. with Tyrese, I'm worried because Tyrese is one of my favorite characters. Yeah, I like, like Tyrese. He's he's got he's got a dangerous mentality for survival. Like he's not he's not. I mean, like we've seen how aggressive he can be. Like he's smashing all the zombies. He's he's gotten out of a lot of sticky situations. But the problem is, like, he also finds himself getting into those sticky situations because of his mentality, and then he has to resort on his brute strength to get him out of it. But like. I don't know, when push comes to shove, like, his mentality is dangerous to have, so I, I don't know. <laughs> it could be him, but I, I would hate it if it was him. Yeah, I think it's Carol because she's been around since season one. She's had an incredible development of who she is from being this frightened woman with an abusive husband and a little child. She's lost, like, pretty much everyone she cares for. She cared, you know, for her, you know, she didn't really care for her husband, She, but she definitely cared for Sophia you know, she cared for a lot of members of the group that went. Um, you know, she cared for Lizzie and Mika being the most recent that kind of had been fucking with her brain, as we saw in last week's episode. And the, the biggest reason why I think she'll die is because I saw in episode two, she was trying to leave. I remember Daryl's like, what are you doing? And she's like, I don't know. I feel like she's almost ready to check out. She's like, all right, I saved the group, but I don't really have a purpose. Like, I've kind of lost my purpose. I think being cast out by Rick made her realize oh i don't really have a purpose like i've lost everyone i care for and i kind of just i'm not i don't have a purpose like yeah sure i belong with these people in some capacity but i don't i feel like she almost doesn't have a purpose anymore really and i feel like that's why she should die i don't see the reasoning as to why you know why would you go with um what's her name at the hospital Beth. Yeah, with Beth. Why would you? The thing is, they just started to develop. I don't her. think they would do that because Daryl and Beth were like cl so close. I don't think they would do that because that would just cause, that's the that obvious. That would cause yeah. such a fucking uproar. Like, like honestly, like because Daryl wasn't even a comic book character, but he's become clearly like the fan favorite. So yeah. like, they really, <laughs> literally, if they killed Daryl Dixon off. 
the, like at least half the viewers would probably stop watching because they would just be so mad. Yeah, they wouldn't do that. I, I don't think they yeah. would do that. But I definitely think with her, like you know, I mean, she she hasn't really had a role in any of the seasons really. I mean, you saw her have an emotional breakdown season two, but. In, at the end of season four, like you just started to see her becoming more accustomed right. to the world, and even in this episode, we saw her kind of like she's you know strong. And even that officer said she's like, "You're strong." And I thought you were weak. It shows us that you know this we have a strong character who we didn't think we had before. So I don't. I think doing that would a be too predictable. Everyone's fucking saying it's way too predictable to kill her off. Okay, first of all, and the second reason is that I feel like we don't we haven't had enough time with her as you know per some of the other characters to be quite honest i mean so that's my prediction so in my mind it'll be either carol or tyrese the reason i say tyrese is because we saw the first episode of this season <laughs> the re he, he almost got the you know um he almost got judith killed because he couldn't fucking kill that guy martin in the uh, uh from the terminus group so I, he's just showing these signs of weakness yeah. that i think it's gonna not it's not gonna be enough and it's gonna push him over the edge and he's gonna die so and of course they could always just surprise us and kill some random character off like i don't know who fucking knows but it's so but. stupid there's i don't know if you guys know there's this website called it's like the spoiling dead it's this facebook group and they, they claim to know what everything's gonna happen and they're like, oh, we know what's going to happen in the finale. Uh, Maggie sees her sister as a zombie and then shoots her after the final battle. And we're like, okay, that wouldn't even happen because Maggie's like is so far from everything that's yeah. in. She's not even in Atlanta. Unless they take a, like, unless they drive that fucking fire truck full speed <laughs> towards Atlanta. I don't think that's happening. Yeah. So it's just, these theories are stupid. Just like, I think people, obviously it's dumb. Just watch the episode. Those are our predictions. Yeah. I don't know. Did you think of anything different or? I don't know, it's kind of hard, I mean, like, besides Carol and Tyrese, it's kind of hard, I mean, of course they could, honestly, going back, because it, it, it's kind of weird, because in recent, the last couple of seasons has actually been really stable, and as far as what characters they killed off, but like, you know, going back to season one and two, like, characters were gone left and right, and you really couldn't tell which one would stay, so, but I mean, who knows, they could go back to that or not. I don't know, yeah, because they don't have the safety of a prison. Like, they, yeah. they don't have a really, unless, the, you know, the church isn't really reliable, but they kind of don't have really have a base of operations now, you yeah. know. I mean, they're they're clearly, you know, hinting that they're moving towards one, you know, with the place in, you know, Washington, but, you know, until we actually get there, you know, who fucking knows, so. Who knows, who knows. So, all right, that's the end of this review. Uh, one cool thing that I wanted to say, though, was um, toward in the beginning when they when they opened up they were opening up with glenn standing in the street and they opened up with like the shot with him holding the gun and it was um it was kind of interesting for me because it it felt like they're drawing a parallel between him and rick because in season four i don't know that was an opener when they were walking on the train tracks and they opened up with rick standing there with his pistol out like that so it was kind of to hmm. me like drawing the connections where glenn became the leader of that small group since Fucking, you know, Mr. Gung Ho went crazy. And... Yeah. It is unfortunate they split up, because if they didn't split up, look, they'd have so many more people to take down. There they would be no oh, yeah. question. This, these cops would be fucking dead if they had the full group, Abraham and everybody, you know, yeah. teamed up. and yeah, It would be no question. So. But... Okay, we'll see we'll you see for that. the last review <laughs> next week. And, yeah, peace out until then. Boop, boop.